morning guys uh, in a little bit of a rush this morning I've got made up two packets of cinnamon roll oatmeal first time I've ever had it got my drink and uh, lunch is already packed it's 5:30, and I gotta be at the shop by 6 it takes around 10 minutes to get to the shop so I gotta finish this up quick, get my boots on, and head on out. All right, it's 6.20. Uh, we're all at the shop, and I'm sitting in my car right now. It is just dumping snow. Uh, it's not sticking, but there is a lot of snow coming down, which means it's getting really wet, and uh, we can't work when the, when the roof's wet. So uh, we're going to hang tight for a little bit. Um, not even going to send us home for an hour or anything like that. So I think we'll be leaving soon. And, uh, yeah, a lot of snow coming down right now. Okay, so I ended up coming back home for a little bit. Uh, it's currently 8.20, and I got all my phones and eBay stuff ready to rumble. Uh, post office opens at 8.30, so I'm going to stop by there quick, and then i got to be back at the shop at 9. Hopefully this... Uh, Snow slows up a little bit or starts sticking one of the two so it's not so wet. Um, I don't mind the snow myself, but I do mind it when it's time to work. The next couple of clips I'm going to be showing you guys were filmed on the roof and I'm trying to talk about kind of what I do. Um, for reference, this first clip is showcasing a piece of metal that Kevin and I did at night in the dark versus what it's supposed to look like um, when it's out in the open, easily accessible and it's light out. Here's the piece of metal that is behind the unit. You can see all the caulk, the scratches, and it just does not look very clean. Now if we go out in front of the unit where it's easily accessible, and we're doing this in daylight, you can see all the pin nails are good, all the caulk's good, no scratches, looks good. Again, here's the joint with all the caulk, all the scratches, doesn't look good. Here we terminate the wall. As you can see, the rubber goes up on the edge there, all the way up to this middle part, and it's glued to there. On the left side, we have this metal T-bar, and it goes all the way across the top, and that holds the rubber tight to the brick wall. Then, over that, we put um, the metal stripping, as you can see there and we drill holes with a hammer drill and put pin nails in um, everywhere you can see them here hammer those in it holds the metal on and then on top we put that colored caulk okay so kevin's got to run to go pee and i can't do anything without him it's just us two on the roof today and that's why i'm getting some clips um, i have to wait for him to cut some metal before i can uh, finish it off caulk it up uh, put the pin nails in and stuff like that so here's the roof we've been working on it's all done now um, obviously we've got everything tapered it comes down to this drain here's a unit this is called a curb uh, you got to wrap a curb and you got to put that finishing metal, metal on um, this is a bigger curb and i mean honestly that's about it we've got a pipe right there with a boot um, and Kevin and I did all the metal that goes all the way around here. So now looking at the rubber you can see we have a seam between two rolls of rubber right here. On the left side we have a 20 foot by 60 foot uh, roll and on the right side we have the same thing. They meet in the middle to create a 6 inch seam for a 20 year warranty. Then we have a T-patch that's made from uncured rubber, so it does not stretch, and it's fixed. And that patch goes over a T-joint. 
then you need to lap cock all around to seal it up tight. Uh, quick pit stop at Quick Trip because Kevin never brings lunch. He always goes to Quick Trip for his lunch. <laughs> so, since Kevin and I rode together in the company truck, he's, he's picking some up. Finally back home. Uh, actually, I shouldn't say that. I got home around 4 o'clock, and that's because Kevin and I finished on the roof in Winona. So we came back, and uh, because the other guys, the rest of our crew, is all the way down by Viroqua, which is another 40 minutes away from La Crosse, it just wasn't worth it for us to drive down there, um, work for 20 minutes, and then drive all the way back. Um, so what we ended up doing instead is just going home and we're gonna go uh, back to work tomorrow and we're gonna end up at uh, Sparta uh, working on the jail again. They finished uh, the second half of the roof so we're gonna be finishing our second half of the roof. Um, yeah, and I actually found out a ton about Kevin today. He's a really cool dude and he actually knows a lot. Um, despite having a not very good past um, he's a really hard worker and he knows a ton I found out that he sells stuff on eBay his phone was going cha-ching 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 all day and uh, apparently he makes over 20 grand a year on it um, he wouldn't tell me exact figures but I do know for a fact he makes over 20 grand a year um, it was really cool just kind of meeting somebody that has that same drive, that same passion, and and learning about what he does and what he's heard and just the people and stories he's gathered about um, from selling stuff on uh, eBay. So it was pretty cool. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to talk to Kevin some more and uh, get to know him a lot better because he's a cool dude. And I like talking to him and I like doing metal with him. But yeah. For dinner, I've got a strawberry smoothie made up, or a shake, or something like that. It's a little bit thicker than I'd like, along with two pieces of chicken, and we'll see what else I can dig up. That's it for the vlog tonight guys, if you like what you saw, feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff, and I hope you learned a little bit more about uh, rubber roofs, I guess, commercial roofs, and I hope to see you tomorrow morning for another even colder uh, day at work.